What is going on guys, Broken Ice coming at you today with a brand new uh, deck profile, well update of a deck profile. So um, the ban list came out and uh, all these had to be completely neutered. Um, so there's like the old magician build but uh, I'm not really fond of it. Um, this one's actually super consistent, uh, I've tried a few test hands and stuff, like a good few test hands and I've played it against a few people. And um, you want to go second in this because it is more of an FTK build, FTK OTK build. Um, the reason being I will explain in the video but uh, basically your whole uh, thing is, the whole reason for the deck is to summon this card right here which is Dark Rebellion, Allies Rebellion Dragon and Allies Raging Dragon. So the whole reason for the deck is to summon out these two cards or one card and FTK your opponent. Now if your opponent has Link Monsters that's a different story. Um, so this is for if your opponent has level 7 or lower monsters. And this one is if your opponent has link monsters. That's how you OTK um, pretty much. Um, so I've tried it against a few things. And link monsters, like I've noticed when it gets against link monsters or level 8 monsters and stuff, anything higher, um, this one's pretty useless. This one's actually very, very good. Um, the only thing that I will say is I'm running a type of proxy, but I'll show you if uh, it's actually a cheap proxy that I just never got. Um, so yeah, so that's what I do. Not a proxy, but I'll, I'll explain when I get to it. So first off, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Um, you have Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon. Um, so what is Arc Pendulum Dragon? Everybody knows what this card does. Basically, if an Odd Eyes monster is destroyed on the field while it's in the Pendulum Zone, you get to uh, special summon an Odd Eyes from the deck. Um, it's a vanilla, so it has no other effect. There's that. In conjunction with that, it works really well with Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon's effect, which is it can destroy itself at the end phase and add a 1500 attack uh, Pendulum monster from your deck to your hand. So if it destroys itself and Arc Pendulum's in the other zone, you can... Um, you can special another Odd Eyes like itself, or Persona Dragon, or another Arc Pendulum to the field, which is really nice. And then if it attacks, uh, it can flick double the battle damage. Next we have Persona for our scales. If it's on the field, it gets to negate an extra deck monster's effect, so Link Monsters negates the effect, which is pretty nice. Um, it's a level 5, it's a scale 1, which is the main thing. This and Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum are one of your main scales. Uh, there's two main scales in the deck that I use. And um, yeah, it's just kind of like, I know OTK and FTK deck is like, if the deck doesn't do the OTK, you pretty much lose. But this one is like, if you don't get to do the OTK, FTK, you should still have a pretty strong board uh, to survive uh, if it doesn't work out. Next, we have, thankfully this card was never hit on the ban list, so Harmonizing Magician. Um, so if this one is uh, special summoned... Um, from the extra deck it gets banished but if it's special from your hand you get to uh, special summon a magician monster in defense position um, which is pretty good a level 4 so you can go for your rank 4 plays and stuff it has to be another magician monster to go into any of the uh, effects or whatever it's also scale it which is really nice um, next a good combo piece with that is wisdom eye magician so wisdom eye if, uh, if you have another magician monster in the pendulum zone you can destroy wisdom eye and get your other piece. I'll show you what the other piece is now in a second. Um, but there's two pieces and this helps you uh, search out your other piece. And it's also a level four to go into uh, your main combo, which I will show you very, very soon. Then we have three uh, Zangeki Magician. Um, so Zangeki Magician can uh, target a light monster on the field and negate its, its effect. But it also, um, if you, you can target a face of Gassim monster you control and you can use it as a Gassim material, for you see someone of a rank, uh, so it basically becomes a level monster, so if you have Dark Rebellion, it becomes level 4, uh, pretty much, and that's how that works, uh, very very good, or if you have Odd Eyes Absolute, it becomes a level 7, and you can go into Odd Eyes Rebellion as well, um, so there's two different ways to do that. Then we have a really one that nobody uses, but I actually, it's for the FTK, OTK type of build, it's Zhang Sheng Magician, so what this one does is it can basically, if Odd Eyes, uh, or whatever, I'll just read out the effect. Once per turn, you can target one face of Exceed Monster you control, and one level 5 or higher monster you control, that is that Exceed Monster's rank becomes the equal to the level of the level 5 or higher monster until the end of this turn. When this card leaves the field while you control no or more cards than your opponent does, this card's pendulum scale becomes 4. So that's why you want to go first, second, or whatever. You want to do fairly quick because your opponent has to have more um, more on the field than you do. 
basically is what it is. So, but I suppose you could use this later on as well, um, just to make your opponent do that as well. But there is the other version where you can use absolute. Uh, you can use uh, Zange uh, Zangeki, and you can use Ori's uh, Arc Pendulum, and you do it that way if you have Ori's Absolute or whatever. There is another way to do that. Like, um, so yeah. Next, to search out our Odd-Eyes Pendulum, and Odd-Eyes Arc Pendulum is Spiral Spear Strike. It also works out if there's an Odd-Eyes on the field, and you need to get destroy a pesky monster. It's never really a dead draw in that way, um, because you're either, it's either a, like a Roa, or um, like a, just a destroy card on the field, um, if you have Odd-Eyes. It's a really, really cool artwork as well. And then we have three Sky Iris uh, to activate Arc Pendulum's effect. And to search off some other odd eyes and get other scales and stuff, so it's really good that way. It has a protection, a built-in protection effect for their pendulum uh, zones as well, which is really nice. Next, we have Duelist Alliance again to search your uh, odd eyes because even if you do go first, the way you want to have it is Arc Pendulum in the Pendulum Zone and then Special Summon an odd eyes as defense. And that way, if you don't draw anything good, at least you'll be able to have your two odd eyes. Uh, in your hand, your odd eyes Arc Pendulum and your odd eyes Pendulum Dragon. Uh, at least that way you can have some type of board. Um, next, three pendulum call. This one was uh, off the ban list. Two or three of these cards were on the ban list, I think. Um, so pendulum call. Then you can discard a card and add two magician pendulum monsters with different names from your deck to your hand. Also until the end of this turn, effect resolve well. magician cards in your pendulum zone cannot be destroyed by card effects. So um, another way to search out your scales and Geki and Zhang Sheng, if that's the way you want to do it, or you can search out harmonize and a wisdom eye, whatever you want, whatever piece you're missing um, for that. Then we have three Allure Darkness uh, because everything in that deck is dark uh, except for Zhang Sheng Magician. Yeah, Zhang Sheng Magician. Um, so you can basically just to filter out some of your pieces as well if you want to get to them as quick as you can. And uh, next, this is the only thing I would say you can change. Um, if you're afraid of hand traps, while hand traps are still a thing, you can get rid of three of these for drag down into the grave or what's that called? Uh, you know the one that negates the the effect in the graveyard you can use that effect it's actually really really good and it's basically a quick play spell as well so uh, instead of wavering eyes wavering eyes is still good because if you have your two pendulums and you want to get your last piece and fill up all your extra deck for the last piece you can destroy your pendulum zones and uh, draw as well a mirror match or something like that like against uh, magician pendulums which are still kind of a thing um you can destroy their pendulum scales and get off crazy stuff as well so there's that um, but yeah, I'd honestly say this is the only thing I don't have is Drag Down to Grave because I didn't get anything out of um, Flames of Destruction, so you could get Drag Down into the Grave or whatever and use it for these three, just so you have like a guarantee that no hand traps are going to stop your plays. Uh, I'd actually very much recommend instead of those Waver Noise have that three of that instead. And then uh, the one up start Goblin, just to make a 39 card deck, you want to get to your pieces as quick as possible. So now into the extra deck. Um, so the extra deck is... One, Odd-Eyes Rebellion Dragon. Odd-Eyes Rebellion Dragon, basically what it does is if there's level 7 or lower monsters on the field, uh, you can destroy all the monsters, all the monsters, and your opponent loses uh, 1,000 for each, and then this card can attack 3 times, which would be 9,000 uh, damage, as well as whatever card your opponent got destroyed or whatever. Um, it's the only way to OTK, FTK. Like, if things permit that, like just say your opponent does have a rank or level on the field, and you can just destroy up to the level 7s and then attack directly. If, if it's optional like if your opponent only has like a link monster and a monster and you destroy the monster you can still attack three times which is really nice um for your 9000 and that's why you don't mind playing upstart goblin because you just look at running 9000 damage if that was the case if you give your opponent 9000 um so yeah next then we have all these rage and dragon a really really good one so basically what this one can do is same effect you need to use a, a, a an xc monster and um a level seven dragon type you need to be two dragon types to special summon it, um, so basically what you can do is you can still destroy the entire field and uh, your opponent, you can destroy the entire field and this card gains 200 attack for destroying, so you can destroy back row monsters or whatever and it gains 200 for each, then it gets to attack twice, so if you destroy 5 cards, um, this is going to be 8000 damage if you do destroy uh, five, 5 of your opponent's cards, which is still really nice if you get to attack directly obviously. Um, if your opponent only has three cards, obviously it's not an OTK. But see the way this works as an OTK type of build. Um, then for the defensive you plays, or to get into your pieces, is always Absolute Dragon. So Absolute Dragon is basically made with two level 7 monsters, any level 7. So you can use Zangeki, Arc Pendulum, or uh, Ares Pendulum. 
Um, and then you can activate Zangeki's effect to make this level 7 if you have Odd on your field as well. So what you can do is the best way to do this as well, if you have two level 7s, um, you can special summon this and Zangeki in your Pendulum Zone. Uh, what you can do is you can attack, negate your own attack, special summon Odd Eye's Pendulum Dragon uh, from the graveyard and then you can activate Zangeki Magician's effect and uh, make this a level 7 monster and then overlay again into one of these and still only using your one um, extra deck monster zone so it's fine um, it's not that big of a deal and then if you wanted like you can activate his effect and destroy the entire field so there's that as well like for a, a main phase 2 if it did come down to it did you whatever you know what I mean you came it didn't work out so there is still ways to play and it is still a good deck in that way the number 11 big eye uh, because I don't run borrow load this is actually really good uh thing instead of borrow load because it's easy to go into your rank sevens if your opponent has a borrow load and you can't get over it and stuff like that um you can actually just take or take the opponent's borrow load and use it again like that in that way instead of you know the only way to beat a borrow load is with a borrow load well 11 number 11 big guy does the exact same thing as well and then we have number 42 galaxy tamahawk for your link plays if you have two level seven monsters you can basically summon as many um links as you want and you can go into um a big link monster then we have the one Dark Rebellion XC Dragon. Dark Rebellion XC Dragon is crucial for this because if you summon Dark Rebellion and Ollie's Pendulum while Zhang Sheng and Zhang Geki are in the field, you can make this to uh, make Ollie's Rebellion. Um, so there you go. Then we have Time Star Magician. Let's say you do get into your two pieces uh, of your magicians and you want to search out the last piece or whatever, you can search it with Time Star and then maybe go for a Link Monster if you have enough resources that way. Um, same with, well, Super King Doom. Super King Dragon Dark Rebellion is another great one you can actually use instead of uh, Dark Rebellion. You can still go with the Supreme King Dragon. You can make your opponent's uh, attack zero if your opponent has an attack position monster. Like That's the way it works with Link Monsters as well. Um, if your opponent has a Link Monster and you don't destroy the whole field or it keeps itself alive or whatever, you can activate um, Dark Rebellion's effect and make it half its attack. I think this only works if you attack it. Um, but still, with Dark Rebellion, you can make it or half their attack and then overlay for the Odd Eyes Rebellion and then... Um, do it that way. So that's it for the Xyz. Um, Enlightenment Paladin, you don't need to run this, you can run another Link instead, you can run Underclock uh, Taker if you want, that would be probably better. Uh, this just gets a spell card to extend your plays again, um, if that was what you wanted, and it runs with, the, instead of summoning Dark Rebellion or a Time Star Magician, you can summon Enlightenment Paladin with the same uh, people. Same thing goes for Supreme King Dragon Clearwing, you can use it with your... Um, your magician and wisdom eye or whatever. What's that called? What's that magician called? I can't find it now. Harmonizing. That's it. Harmonizing some of these cards. Actually, a really good card as well. Then we move on to our links. The one proxy, the one topological bomber, the one firewall, and the one decode docker. Um, if I had borrow load, I'd run borrow load. But I feel like these are still pretty strong as well. Um, so yeah, so you can run these and you can summon these with your um, Tamahawk. Uh, it should probably, if you wanted to get rid of Enlightenment Paladin for um, Enlightenment Paladin and another card in your extra deck, maybe to run uh, two Link Spider, you can do that as well uh, to help you with this. But really what you can do is um, you can go into, let me think, the best way to do this. Actually, what you could do right now is let's say I get rid of Enlightened Paladin and add two of these, and it works the same way. And um, you can do that because what you can do with the with the uh, tokens or what they call I can't even talk with the two tokens is you can get rid of two tokens for this. Um, actually, no, you do need a Link Spider. My bad. Um, yeah, you probably need to go into Link Spider if I'm being honest. But what you could do as well is uh, you can go into trying to think a way around it with tomahawk tomahawk is actually really really it's hard to go into it let me think hmm no i think you need link spider so um i'll fish out link spider somewhere <laughs> but pretend link spider is in one of these as well uh, i definitely had link spider somewhere because link spider make it fairly handy now there's other ways to do this obviously you have three monsters you can summon this or uh you know what i mean you can do other ways like that as well uh, just think of a tomahawk uh, i think you need link spider because you can link spider um well, I suppose you can't even Link Spider from the start, can you? Because I'm trying to think. Is there a way to get into it? I don't know. I'm rambling on. I'm just trying to think of a way to use Tamahawk. Um, well, I, this only says two monsters. It doesn't say two effect monsters. So I think with Tamahawk, you can go straight into this, um, which is actually fine. Like This just says two monsters. So what you can do is you can do Tamahawk, and then you can do 
three other of your um, tokens and go straight into firewall if that was the case you wanted to do that as well um, and then from firewall and another token or whatever so let's say there was five tokens on the field you can use uh, three and that one and you'll have two tokens left and then you can go into proxy dragon um, and then you have like this so that's how that works and you'll have two spaces your opponent will have an extra space um, and you can get your effects off a of firewall you can draw cards and stuff which is really good so that is it for the deck profile guys sorry for waffling on for so long but there is a way to do it sorry i just had to work it out in my head because i haven't used not big fan of links at the minute um i am a fan of firewall obviously but and top of logic stuff and um, but yeah so that's it for the video guys please like leave a like comment and subscribe and i'm going to zoom out into my mat because my mat is cool and anyway guys good luck good luck